We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you once again with another message that will bless you and take you to a greater glory and a greater level. Our God is good and He is with us. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. And we can trust in Him knowing that our deliverance and our life and all good things that we receive come from Him. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. My dear friend, I want to speak to you today and I want to talk about being the salt and the light of this earth. It's so important for us as born again believers to be the difference. And if that is lacking in the life of a born again believer, then you've lost your edge spiritually in terms of being a representative of the kingdom of God. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then we'll go into a time when I share this word with you and then we'll begin to pray. As we begin, I encourage you comment and agree and connect in faith and believe, trust God, understand and know God is still working today. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, take over this session Lead us closer to Jesus and reveal the deeper things of God to us that we may be the difference in this world and that we may do what pleases God. Amen. My dear friend, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 13, it says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Now, my dear friend, there are many revelations that can be taken from the scripture. But one of the main ones is being a born again believer. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. You are different, called to a different set of rules, called to live a different and a unique lifestyle that lifts up and glorifies the name of Jesus, called to be the difference. In situations where everyone would go one way, you are called to walk on the narrow, the narrow way. In situations where everyone would walk on the wide and broad way, you are called to walk on the narrow way. And that is why it is so important that we never lose our core focus and our understanding of the faith and our belief in God. We are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ and not of our own works. If it were, it wouldn't be a gift and it wouldn't be by grace. But it is a gift freely given so that no one can boast. But now that we have been given this great gift and this great opportunity through Christ that we have received through faith, we should use it to the fullest. Live to the fullest. Be the difference. And we don't only need to be the difference in our speech, but also in our actions. We can be the difference in our actions in areas where there's peer pressure and we refuse to go with the crowd. We can be the difference in situations where help is needed in the community and we step up to help. We can be the difference, most of all by showing the love of Christ 
the unconditional love of Christ to our brothers and sisters in Christ and also to those around us in the community. We can be the difference by setting the example of what it means to be a good person. I'll read the scripture to you once again. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are a member of your family. Wherever you go, the way you behave, the way you act, the things that you do, reflects back on your family name and the values and the core systems that have been instilled in you since birth. In the same way, in our surroundings, wherever we go, the core values and the systems of belief that Christ our Lord laid the foundation and taught us should govern our lives and we should be ambassadors of heaven, ambassadors of the kingdom of God, meaning wherever we go, we represent our big family in Christ. In our actions first, and also in our speech. There should be a marked difference between you and those who are in the world in terms of the way we conduct ourselves and our behavior. It's so important. As you follow the teachings and the commands of Christ, it's inevitable. You will be the salt and light of this world. As you make the Word of God the standard for your life and you follow what is written in it, you will be the salt and light in this life. As you pray every day and spend time with God, more of His power and more of His presence rubs off on you and more of Him is manifest wherever you go. And people can discern and pick up that there is something different about you. Because the presence of God goes with you. Be the salt and light to this world. And saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to encourage you, wherever you are, in your own words, begin to praise God and just praise Him from your heart. Mean it with all of your heart and thank Him for the good things He has done. And then I'll begin to pray for you in line with this word. Father, you're the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. Our God who speaks and you live. And you make a way for us where there seems to be no way. You make a way for us where there is no way. We give you praise and we lift up your name. For you are good and your mercy endures forever. Your love endures forever. We thank you for the good things that you've given us, especially the priceless things, like time in your presence, being able to spend time with you and develop our personal relationship with you, time to spend with our family members and our loved ones, and the ability to do life with them. We give you praise and we thank you for this. And also, the smaller things that we sometimes overlook that are so valuable that you've given us that we don't sometimes recognize that are a blessing. We give you praise and we thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. Dear friend, now I want to pray for you in line with this word. I encourage you be in agreement and be expectant that God will do something in your life and that he'll raise you up as a natural leader to set the difference and to be the difference. Let us pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend even today 
As my dear friend has tuned in and clicked on this video, it means my dear friend wants to be the difference and wants to be the salt and light in this world. I pray that you will give my dear friend the grace to be the salt and light to this world and to represent the family of God, the great big kingdom of heaven, through their deeds and their words. Give my dear friend the grace to set the example in love and in conduct and to conduct themselves in a manner worthy of praise. Because for all of us as born-again believers, wherever we go and whatever we do, we are representing the kingdom. And the fact that people know that we are born-again believers means that we should always hold to that path. The path that leads us to be the salt and light of this world. I give you praise and I thank you that you have heard our prayer today and the grace has been released to do and be the difference. I pray if my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, a sign or a wonder, even today, bless my dear friend with a miracle, sign or a wonder. If my dear friend is trusting you for divine intervention and a divine turnaround in their life, whatever area of their life it is, I pray that you'll intervene divinely and do what only you can do. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.